Oh, hello. Um, there was this casting call on Saturday in LA. I was there, 7 o'clock in the morning. And here I am, in my own broken frame, two days later. Well, let's see why. Follow me, I'll show you and talk about me. Those are some of the sculptures that I was unable to bring to the casting call. Uh, most of them are from the era from my Dream Factory series. That box, for instance, um, was slightly already inspired uh, with Baroque uh, coming back from another trip from my home, but I still worked on the Dream Factory series. Here is the exchange that um, is portrayed here between a man and woman uh, being tied to each other, because it has uh, definitely a functional quality to it. As you can see, my fantasy is just um, always going on. It's always on on, on wheels. Uh, as a child in school, I was called a dreamer. Uh, back in Austria, I was just staring out of the window and uh, dreaming up Luftschlösser, which are air castles. This painting deals with the multiple psychic layers uh, of the of mankind. In that case. I tried to portray them very classic in a very stoic moment. It's not done yet, so these parts will be in color, these parts will be pushed back. Those are the double exposure. Instead of just standing here, they want to rock out, they want to they do something crazy and fun. But back in the days, it wasn't allowed. So that's why this is what's going on in her head, is happening in that second exposure. This painting, called 1789, uh, is part of the uh, series Concessione Romana, Conception, Roman Conception, uh, which started in Rome when it was the last time. Uh, the model is my wife, Laura, an actress. Uh, she is, a, is in, uh, depicted in two situations here, which is again my favorite subject. Um, I'm very, very much interested in the psychic of people. Um, there is uh, more going on than just what you see, and that's always the second part, the double exposure behind the scene. In that sense, she's given in to what's going on right now. The other picture portrays hope for a change, which brings me to the title, 1789 as 2009 were years of change. 1789 was the French Revolution. 2009 was the change in the United States with uh, the president now. This piece uh, was a commission piece for a show in uh, Hollywood. Uh, the show is a heavy metal show. And I thought, because we're here in California, I have to combine two things. I have to combine the surf culture here in California as well as the rock and roll culture. That's why the piece is titled Hell Yeah Rock Loose. And you can see her hands going in the hang loose position. The frame is handmade by myself as well, using epoxy, wood, different uh, types of clay and um, lots and lots of acrylic mediums and acrylic effect paints. This is a painting from my previous series, uh, Dream Factory 1926. reason 1926 is because uh, Metropolis was uh, released in 1926, uh, written uh, by or directed by a fellow Austrian, Fritz Lang. The girl on the right falling asleep and uh, funneled through uh, this uh, machine that turns uh, the good into the bad, into the mischievous. You know, just showing the multiple burst personalities in people, in that case, showing the dark side of people. Right now I'm doing the underpainting. Um, it's already halfway done. It's already a value st study as well as temperature has been plugged in. The last layer that I'm going to do, and that will happen tomorrow, is probably a glazing to tie everything together. And here's the finished piece for this show. I decided to go with emotions. This piece has two emotions, desperation, hope versus emptiness and fear. In a sense, where I am right now. The main picture is kept in color, so that draws your eyes instantly to it. And then you see there's somebody observing you out of the dark. That creates a triangle of vision. I thought there couldn't be a TV show without a Baroque artist, without an artist who has a representational art. BBB, bring Baroque back. That's what I'm here for. That's my mission. I will do that. And I don't think there should be a TV show without an ambassador from Europe with the classic art.